Hi, I'm Aiden Quigley from aq.ie and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about tech, web design and branding. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I take my audio on Zoom from this to this with just one simple click. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell as well. Okay, let's go. If you're working from home and you have to have video or audio calls, but you don't have an environment where you have the best audio soundscape, let's say, maybe you have a dog barking or children crying or a street noise or construction or people chatting in the next room, but you can still hear it, it still gets picked up by your mic. Well, there is an app that uses artificial intelligence, AI, to remove the background noise from your audio for Zoom, for Skype, for Google Meet, for FaceTime, for a phone call if you take it through your computer. It is something that kind of took me aback because I was surprised at how good it was. The app is called crisp.ai and if you use the link in the description below, you'll get one month free of unlimited minutes with the app. And for the security conscious among us, the app uses local audio processing so your voice doesn't get sent to the cloud. It offers a free 120 minutes of noise cancellation per week, which refreshes every week. They also have a paid version with unlimited minutes for $5 a month billed annually. Sounds good? Okay, let me show you how to get set up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to crisp.ai. When you get there, click the get crisp for free button. Once you do, it'll ask you to put in your email address and it'll send a verification email to your email address. So once you put in the code, it's going to give you a link to download the app. And once you do, you can just double click the package to install it. And when you do that, it'll show you something like this. Now, this is before you get started, you can test the noise cancellation. So I'm just gonna test it now and it's gonna record with uh, the microphone that I'm using, the Blue Yeti. And so I'm just gonna clap at the same time as I talk. And I'm gonna click at the same time as I talk and then I'm gonna clap again. So you can just hear the difference between when there is no clapping. I'm not clapping now, but I'm clapping now. Isn't that amazing? And then it replays the. So I'm just going to clap at the same time as I talk. I'm going to click at the same time as I talk. And then I'm going to clap again. So you can just hear the difference between when there is no clapping. I'm not clapping now, but I'm clapping now. Isn't that amazing? So that's what it sounds like. It really is amazing at getting rid of background noise. And then to get started, you just click on that. It signs you in based on the browser that you just logged into and it'll show you which microphone you're, you're using. So here I have my Blue Yeti microphone set up, but it's going to remove the background noise for something if I, if I pick the crisp microphone then going forward. So then to set it up for Zoom, you just open Zoom, you go to the preferences up here you change the microphone from the internal microphone to the crisp microphone and it's going to use the crisp uh, app to stop it from picking up background sounds. So see the way I'm clicking right now and it's not registering it. It's not registering it at all, which is pretty amazing. So that's how you get set up on crisp. Don't forget that you can get a free month's trial with the link in the description below. When I first saw this, I was blown away by how much it actually got rid of. I was clapping like that right into the microphone and it just managed to completely erase it even while I was talking. This is something that I know you can do with Adobe Audition, but this seems to do a fantastic job at getting rid of stuff that is kind of in the same register, if even with people talking in the background. So I was really just kind of blown away by it. If you found this useful, share it with your friends and coworkers. And if you have any other tech problems that you'd like me to help with, let me know in the comments below. That's it for this week. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.